<clears throat> okay, yeah, basically, like how I need on. to get my platform, basically, because in a nutshell. Um, well, I got my like platform by acting like, like I liked it tight, and then I act like I like Shamar, and then I just went off and I did my own thing. But basically, you actually like Shamar, like you really like um, him, like no. you in love with him. It's a different, like we different. You get what I'm saying? But I'm just saying that's how I got my platform. And then when they were saying like how, like I guess like whoever asked the question like, um, how can I be? Oh, let me take. Yeah, but basically it was like, um, hold on, what the fuck okay, what saying? I was saying, like, like was you attracted to Ty? Ty, Ty, Ty kept commenting like you wanted to be with him and like you was in love with him and just all type of stuff. But I wasn't attracted to Ty, and you know, I don't have no problem with Ty or no shit like that. It was just basically Ty wasn't, you know, somebody that I would just talk to like that. Like, talk to him, trying to get him dick or no shit like that. It was just, I was trying to be friends with Shamar because I felt like, you know, Shamar actually needed right. a, a genuine friend and shit like that. So it was like, every time I was messaging Shamar, I guess Shamar was just like, I don't know, like, shit, he had never messaged me back and he had always been in a relationship or some shit oh, like that. Okay, let, let, let me ask you this too. <laughs> but when I How do you feel about in the interview when Tommy said to you, ooh, ooh, if if if, if, if you weren't with, if Shamar weren't with you, ooh, I'd tell you to send me that dick pic. So how did you take that knowing that you talked to Shamar? Uh, not about, what the, about the whole situation. situation. You remember when Tommy asked you, he said, well, he didn't ask you. He said, ooh, ooh, if you didn't talk to Shamar, I'll tell you to send me that dick picture because they said you got a big dick. So how do you take that? Because, you know, a lot of people when take that, like, they'll be like, damn, you hit friend and you saying that. So I'm just asking your opinion. At first, I was, <clears throat> I was thinking that, but, well, I'm not going to say at first, like, it was like, I don't know, it basically right. caught me off guard, like, I don't know, like, it basically caught me off guard. You I basically mean, going along, going with, along with, you basically. know, with everything. Yeah, like, and that's how it was. Right. Like, if you go to an interview for a fucking job, you're not just come out and just be saying hey, shit. No, you're going you're gonna to right. respond to what the fuck they asking you. So, okay, hey. But like I said, like I don't have right. no problem with Tommy. I don't have no problem with talk like I was telling them. Like in your situation, like well, like when they were saying, um, I guess somebody had asked, how can right. I be friends with the ops, knowing that the other person don't like you? Well, from my understanding, no, me, you and Shamar, me, me and Shamar, I'm gonna clear that because, up with the people who's here. Me and Shamar don't have a problem. Shamar follows me on my other backup page. Me and him DM all the time. I even. I even touch Shamar every day, but like when I like you know when I talk to you or shit like that, I'll be like, "Hey, but like, what you doing?" I'll be like, "Nothing, just got off live, but um, we're messing." Right, I'll be talking about cashed out. Oh, know, nothing. I cashed out or Shamar he, when he was in Houston. Or he'd be watching. So if he had, so if Shamar actually had a problem with it, right. Shamar would have fucking. And I'm it. definitely not. I'm definitely not an op of like, Shamar because I've cashed out him in Houston and I got my I, receipts. You know and. and like literally, like he. Oh, you like, go ahead. Like, I mean, he, he had a problem with you, but at the end of the day, it's just like, um, like I don't know how to explain it because it's like basically, you know, even though I'm talking to Shamar, it's like I don't want to fall out with like with right. motherfuckers. I think that is cool because like what if I fall out with them and then and. Maybe you never even got a picture. At least you right. got a picture, right? You right. You ain't seen no picture. You right. Any motherfucker, any motherfucking type of way, then baby, like baby, like I was never even attracted to you, not even a little bit. You right. So, is there anything else in the interview that you really wanted to say? Because it's supposed to be like about exclusive that you really didn't get out, like that you feel like you probably were holding back, or you know what I'm saying. A lot of shit back about exclusive and that other person because it's like 
I didn't have no mm -hmm. problem with Kenny at motherfucking all, like, however. But Kenny sit back on his platform and act like he's just so cool with me. And he tried to make it seem like, you know, me and him so cool and shit like that. And he don't know what the fuck going on. But a motherfucker get on right. his platform and start talking shit. Then he going along with him. But at the end of the right, day, but Kenny, you, but you know, Kenny is 48 years old and he stayed with his mama and that's where the radio station is. And we'll show that later on. But, okay, keep going. That's basically what it was. Like, I, it was just uh, um, how it was like, how the interview was before it happened. Well, how it was talked about, it was like, okay, like, I got to turn right. the fuck up. Like, I got to make this, you know, big and that because that's what I was, you know, being told. Like, you know, this was going to be for the books and we're going to make this one big and you got to do your big one. Okay, so I'm going to get out everything I, you know, I got a motherfucking say. And that's what, you know, hyped me up even motherfucking more. And then the schools of talking shit right. hyped me up even motherfucking more. So thinking like shit was going to be asked to me that, you know, basically like, like it was asked, you know, before the interview or brought to me but, like before the interview. But I feel but like I feel like now like you got everything out and I want you to look at the comments. Y'all, I want y'all to ask him questions and you know, decide whatever you want to answer. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you feel comfortable with answering. And don't y'all please stop doing all that crazy stuff in the comments. But like I said, but like I said at the end of the day, like it's not nothing that I don't want to fucking answer because if I didn't want to answer some shit, then I would have never answered a lot of them questions. Right. That but a lot of them questions were very weird. Like they went quick. Them were questions that people already not ask. You know what I'm saying? Like you can go like shit that they motherfucking know. But it's like, I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hide nothing. So like I said, if like, I mean, before it was like you know. I'm not gonna tell y'all motherfuckers my motherfucking business, but now it's just like I don't give a fuck. Like it is what it is at the end of the motherfucking day right. because I'm gonna be me. Like, I literally still be fucked up because it basically just fucking happened. Like, like he literally just passed right. away in November. So yeah, and it's like it, like basically it's still fucking brand new to me. Like it literally fucking is, and I even talked to Shamar about that. Like. I talk to, yeah, I talk to Shamar about how I feel and shit like that, and he be talking to me like, right. I'm sorry, he you feel basically that way you. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. He in a better right. place As now, and shit like that. Like, it, it don't be nothing like you know. Oh, I just um, because at the end of the day, I'm I ain't gonna never forget no shit like that. I don't give a fuck who I'm with. I don't care if I'm married. I'm not going to forget no shit like right. that because me and that person was actually, I, I knew them for a while and we had just, like we right. was friends before we started dating. And then and once we started dating, like it just put me closer to him and it just put him closer to me. And then once he passed away, it was just like, damn, like I was fucked up. I'm not going to lie. I was fucked up because he had just left my right. house that morning. Like, he literally had just left my fucking house that morning. And um, ever since me and him had started talking, um, right. we was living together. Like, we was literally living together. And um, we was together every day. Um, and then I'm thinking, you know, right. it's just another right. day. You know, he's going to come back home. Then hours pass, and I'm texting him, and I'm like, something going on because this not like him so i'm calling and calling around and shit like that and calling his family and they they tell me what happened i just dropped my phone and just bust the fuck out crying like like this can't be real like somebody playing a fucking joke on me right so look do what we gonna do because i know like, i don't want you to get into that because i know how it feels i know i'm being there before so i'm gonna i'm gonna change the subject no, me and Shamar I was not in a relationship no. when I had that boyfriend. Like, Shamar, okay, when me and Shamar just started back talking, mm -hmm. like, you know, this go around, I didn't hit Shamar up. <clears throat> I didn't hit Shamar up at all. 
<laughs> Shamar hit me up, and when he hit me up, um, it was it was him, Tommy, and Todd. They was at the airport mm -hmm. in Charlotte, North Carolina, and that's what hit me up. He was like, he was like, oh, I'm glad you um, I'm glad you responded to me um, because mm -hmm. he hit me up on Instagram, and it was like. Um, I'm like, I'm like, well, where are you at? Um, he was like, he was like, I'm in Charlotte. I'm like, I'm like, oh, shit, I'm already where? Um, I'll come see you. He's like, he's like, well, we're about to get on our flight now, but we at the airport. I'm like, where y'all going? That's when they was going to Houston for his birthday. Right. That's when uh, me and Shamar had, you know, start back, you know. So let me ask you this. Can you see week. yourself with Shamar three years from now? Or it's not going to happen like it happened before. Right. Like he let everybody get it and give and give it. <clears throat> and never getting shit in fucking return. I never asked for shit in fucking return. It was just I was giving and giving. And they took advantage of that. So with Shamar telling me that he already got money, I'm just not going to be the one that's, that's going to be like, you know, um, well, here you go any. Here you go anyway. Here you go anyway. Because, like I said, in my old relationship, right. I was always the one just giving and giving. And they was just taking. And that's all they fucking wanted. But, like, like I'm going to encourage you, like, don't... I, I'll tell you this off live. I, I ain't going to talk about that. But, anyway, um, so you do love Shamar. You here trying to... No. No, no. See, like, I'm not the victim. Like, See, you can't let the Wonder comments, don't, let, don't get the reading like, comments. Like, I'm not trying to play a victim. I'm just trying to tell y'all, right. you know, my side. And that's why I want, for real, everybody to be there so everybody can say their own fucking side. And then we can, you know, go from there. Like how it was with, you know, with Larry and Dasani. Like, Tommy would mute the live so the other person can say what they wanted to say. And... You know, but it was just like, it was just me and Tommy. So Tommy was just asking me questions. Now, if Exclusive and Shamar was there, like, you know, I don't know, like the shit, but the shit would have went better for real because everybody would have got out what the fuck they had to say. And it would, it would have never been like, you know, I just would have had my part because it's, it's different parts to every story. Right. You know, every story. And, and I just wanted everybody to, you know, get out what they had to, to, to actually get out. That's why I was telling Tommy and Ty, um, ask me whatever the fuck y'all want to ask me. Like, like I don't care what it is. Like, ask me whatever the fuck y'all want to ask me because after this, I don't want nobody to feel no type of way towards me as in, you know, they still feeling this type of way. Right. You could have asked me right then and there. So, if, you, yeah, like if Isusa was there, like Isusa, you know, could have said his part you know, as in, you know, what he felt. And I would have said my part. Right. Shamar could have said his part. So, okay, this right here. So basically, have you blocked exclusive from your page? So he's permanently yes. blocked from your page. He's so you don't have really nothing blocked. against Ty. You just basically just telling it. So we got to get that out of the way. He does not have nothing against Ty. Right, like, I'm Nothing at all. I don't have nothing against Ty at all. It was just, like I said, and I even told Shamar this. Like, I even told Shamar this, like, you know, I was talking to Ty. Because Shamar had asked me, like, um, it's not the first time, like, this been brought up. And Shamar asked me before, like, um, was you talking to Ty and, or some shit like that? Like, I guess when we all had started arguing, me, Tommy, and Ty, or I forgot what happened. But, uh, we all had got into it about something, and Ty, right. I thought he was waking something up by, you know, by. And Shamar asked me, and I literally told him right then and there, like I didn't, I wasn't hiding shit from Shamar. Uh, literally, like I told Shamar right then and there, like yes, I was talking to Ty right. to try to get close to you, as you should. And he was like, oh, okay. oh, okay, but it wasn't for no platform shit. It wasn't for none of that. It was actually like I was actually just trying to be a friend with right. Shamar. Like it actually, you know, me trying to get clout from Shamar. Baby, y'all know right. do y'all know right. where my followers would have been at right now? 
Right. I would have been posted all that shit. Pictures when we was um taking pictures and shit like that, and always on video and always on the phone to two, three in the morning. I would have been you doing right. all of that. Cause you definitely got it. Like I would have. It would have never. It would have never just been about no goddamn followers and shit like that. Like, but my name would have been in literally every fucking thing. Like, right. But I, it wasn't for that. It wasn't. So how is you feeling right now, uh, Dimitri? Do you feel alone? Do you feel like, are you happy with what's going on? You know, just be honest, like, you know. To be honest, I don't know how to, feel, like, how to actually feel, like. And then that being brought up, as in my ex and shit like that, like. Like, you know, make sure tell her how you feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the Shamar situation, just everything. Basically, that being brought up, I feel like. That was disrespectful, for real, because it wasn't like I was, just, like, it was just me and him. Like, I wasn't, you know, talking to nobody else or, or nothing like that. Like, I was, I wasn't even on fucking right. Instagram like that, to be honest. Like, I wasn't. It was just fucking me and him. I wasn't right. talking to no motherfucking body. And then and for them to bring that up, like, I for real like low key wanted to fucking cry because it just made me think about him even fucking more. Which is, I mean, I think right. about him every motherfucking day. But people definitely praying for you though. If you see the comments. I Shamar, like I even talked to Shamar about him. Right, as you should. Like, and he talked to you. But like, the big fucking problem with with you know with me being with Shamar after after Ty thought that I was trying to talk to him. Why would you put Larry on to Shamar after you done fucked with Larry? That's my thing. So it's just right. like, I'm just hated. Hated for what? I don't even fuck with You're you. You're right about that. I'm just happy you, 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 I mean, I'm happy. You ain't in a dark place no more, is you? I mean, not that I'm in a dark place no more, but it's just. Right. I can see a light at the end of the And Shamar tunnel. basically makes it feel better not, for you. Like, he he kind of feels that gap. Basically, yeah. Yeah, they. I feel like there's a lot of jealousy going on, and people is keeping Shamar away from you. But there, I could be wrong, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people be in his ear, and you know what I'm saying? Because you got to think about, think about who, who he is, like. He told me right. that way also. And a lot a lot of other people said that they felt that way. But at the end of the day, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't trying to feel that way. Because like I said, Tommy or right. Ty never done nothing to me for me to actually feel that way. But it was just <clears throat> like the only problem I had was they was like, Well, um, why be with him if he ain't sending you no money? I'm not right. gonna leave with nobody that ain't sending me no money. Well, right there is actually stating that if I don't send you no money, then because it was it had got to that point where it was like, okay, well I'm not about to just <coughs> send out my money and I don't know where it's going or no right. shit like that. And then they like, well, um, I feel like y'all should just be friends. And then Shamar broke up with me because of that. Because of they told him that um, he should just be my friend. Like, Shamar right. literally broke up with me because of that. So it was motherfuckers in his ear. Because when it, he was down here with me, there no was drama, no fucking problem. No. So somebody said, do you feel embarrassed for, like, being in love with Shamar or whatever or whatnot? Hold on, because this girl right here, she just said... He's not crying. crying he's enough. basically not... talking about what he's like been through with an ex who passed away. And... Exactly. It fucking passed away. November right, 29th. Uh, oh, they, they are so weird. But Demetrius, we're going to try to wrap things up a little bit because, I, you know, it's getting weird or whatever. These people getting real weird. So I don't read podcasts because I heard my name and I just wanted to basically like clear up, you know, like whatever, like 
shit, whatever, right. you know, that was being said about me. Like, I want to clear it up. Like, I just don't want, you know, motherfuckers actually talking about me and I don't know what the fuck going on. And it's just, you know, they just talking and I can't, you know, I can't get what I got to get out. Like, you know, I want to be able to respond to the shit. And I feel like everybody should have right. been in the, um, in the interview. And I mean, yeah, it's okay that, you right. know, me and Tommy did the interview and shit like that. But at, at first, it was supposed to be right. me, Tommy, and Exclusive. But when Exclusive fucked it up, I right. feel like the interview should have been on. But right. it wasn't. I mean, I see, but you know, you know, it, but it, see, yes. you got stupid people like, like you know, Exclusive is slow. He 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 chose to go over there with Ken and Lee. Tommy platform is way bigger. So he's a damn fool for even running over there with Kimmy. He should have ran over there with Tommy Wool and, and, and did whatever he did. You get what I'm saying? Because Tommy, any glitch tried to get me to come Thank over you. there. He was like, he was like, well, Demetrius, if you got anything to say, you come over here. Like, right, okay. but he don't. I, I, I'm just gonna leave it there. I, I ain't gonna talk about nobody what nobody do. But I feel like you you got everything you know you needed to get out or whatever, and we're going to kind of wrap everything. We're going to go on and wrap it up. Y'all, please don't add that man no crazy ad question no more. Because it's on YouTube. The bloggers are here, so please don't add him no more crazy ass shit. And I don't even care if they do, like, at this point. Like, I don't no, I mean, you shouldn't no care. More. Don't. You can't let what people talk, you know, they talk about you. They call me sex offenders and all type of shit. It, you, so, that's why I say I don't like I don't care what nobody said about me because at the end of the day I'm gonna be me. And I can be me on Instagram or in like I can be me on Instagram right. and off of Instagram. Like on, on the on the fucking daily basis, like that's not me to just go around shaking this person or talking about that person. That's not me. But what I will right. do Definitely. I will protect my name. That's what I will do. So when they want to try to say I'm messy or I'm doing this and I'm doing that on Instagram, no, I'm just trying to protect my fucking name. And the reason, you know, I, you know, I see my name and I get on Instagram because somebody done sent me a live that somebody done said my name and, you know, when somebody done said my, my name and they was like, well, right. we feel like you should speak your piece. Like, I swear on every fucking, like, I'm, like, bro, I, like, like, but well, you, you said enough to meet you. You love Shamar. Y'all together. You answered the, the question about the, the, the situation with the hemorrhoids, which you've been answered months ago. Um, you know, you answered about Ty. But like I said, if they would have came to me respectfully and actually asked me, I right. would have told them, but they came to me all disrespectful and all fucked up. So that's why I didn't motherfucking say nothing. Like, it right. was none of their fucking business. Like, first off, y'all being ignorant as fuck to somebody that never been fucking ignorant to y'all. So, bitch, I'm not, I'm not about, about to tell you that, a that, but Dimitri, you got to realize that what come with this, trolls. Trolls come with it. You see what I'm saying? But you can't, you can't, like I tell you, don't read comments. You can't read them. You can read them when you, when you the host, you can read them and get rid of them. But when you're not hosting a live or something like that, don't read comments. And that's the thing, like, it's it's not a storyline. Like, I'm not... I'm not going to talk about my ex with no motherfucking body for no goddamn storyline, right. for no motherfucking money. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Because a million dollars right. can't bring my motherfucking ex back. Like, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Right. Like, this shit ain't fucking paying me. Like, I'm not going to talk about something that I actually fucking genuine care about. Like, I'm not going to do that for no fucking storyline for no money. Like, everybody is not right. doing shit for storylines. Well, I can't speak on that, but right. I'm not. Okay, y'all. How um, how did y'all like, enjoy? We're going to wrap this up. To me, we got to wrap it up because these people, they getting crazy. I'm telling them they keep DMing me. They write me crazy stuff. So, y'all, we're going to wrap this up. Thank you, Demetrius, for talking. I'm going to call you in a minute through the DM, okay? All right, thank you, Demetri. Crazy question. Y'all keep sending them crazy. How did y'all enjoy the interview? Did y'all enjoy the interview? Did y'all enjoy the interview? Did y'all enjoy? Thank you, Demetri. He was being very honest. Demetri's had.